of the Russia Eurasia programme at Chatham House. Good evening and welcome. Good evening. It, it, it's something of a mystery to all of this. Um, you know, what is, what is the support network that is directly around Vladimir Putin? Well, there are different levels of support network. You have the immediate, what we would call the, the power ministries and the people who run these power ministries. Those would be the, the foreign, the, the defense ministry, the border guards, the foreign intelligence services. You have a second circle of ol oligarchs who are supporting him and financially. But I think what Putin was counting on most of all was that the West would continue to be as greedy as it has been for the past eight years, ever since Russia annexed Crimea, ever since it allowed Russia to interfere in its electoral systems and divide us. And that is the thing that he was counting on most of all, I think, was our weakness, because he has played to our weakness and he has succeeded. And finally, we are beginning to show a little bit of unity. And I hope it's not too little too late. Yeah, I mean, there is unity out there. I mean, I would I'd perhaps on the election systems, well, they might have tried to influence them. I don't think they did very much, but that's a point of view uh, that I hold. But but how I mean, he, he is. Is he a complete dictator? Is there anybody that can really hold him to account? I think that's the question that everyone is asking themselves and particularly the intelligence services. What we have seen over the last year has been Putin becoming more and more outspoken about his designs on Ukraine when he published a document back in July last year talking about the historic unity of the Ukrainians and Russians, when he then published his so-called treaties to, um, with the West on, on restructuring European security. So far, all his inner circles seem to have been united around him. There has been a turning point, and that was exactly a week ago today, I can't believe it was a week, it seems like five years, <laughs> when he gave an address to his security council and asked every member of his security council to say what they think about the so-called independent republics in the east of Ukraine. And we had this spectacle of men, majority men, there was one woman, of, of grown men quivering in terror as they were reciting by rote what they seem to have been learning off by heart to say to Putin. You had the spectacle of his intelligence chief literally stumbling on his words and being reprimanded like a naughty child. I cannot imagine that these people are now united against Putin. They seem terrified. But if I were them, I would be more terrified for the, for the whole of humanity at this point, because Putin... The biggest fear with Putin is that if he feels that he's cornered, he might just say, well, to hell with it. I'm going down. I'm taking everyone down with me.